What's going on, you Australian Grizzly Bears today? Episode one. This one's a big one, okay? Literally, mathematically speaking, only 16 to 17% of you guys will be able to get past this first episode. If not, you know, to everyone else, you're kind of, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. So what I'm going to be talking about today is I, my idiot self, have found a direct link to DNA genetics, the human anatomy, right, to skill, at least in FPS, at least in Call of Duty. Uh, I've spoken to uh, pretty much every single pro I could throughout the years, and they're all like me, okay? They're all a similar case, except for one person, which was Proofy. I was like the only person that, uh, that I encountered that wasn't like the rest of us. So what am I talking about today? I'm talking about eye dominance. And not only eye dominance, but cross eye dominance, specifically from your dominant left eye, right, to right-handed. And... I don't see any posts about this. I don't see any, you know, college papers. I don't see any Dexerto post. Hell, I don't even see any Drifter videos about this. To me, this is a, like a number one indicator that things are probably not going to go well, or they're going to be very difficult for you. So, like I said, a lot of people are like me, same situation, left eye dominant, right handed. So if you think about it, I don't have a controller near me, but you're always, I don't know any left handed Call of Duty players. I literally know zero. Um, but you're always going to be aiming with your right, your right thumb, right? And I want you guys right now to just briefly think, I'm going to show you guys later. But I want you to briefly think about what you see in Call of Duty, you know, in terms of the HUD, in terms of the weapon placement, in terms of all this, all this stuff, all this clutter on your screen, that's info. Okay. But without further ado, I'll, I want to show you guys how you guys can test to see which eye dominant uh, side you are. So I'm sort of line up with the camera. But you guys should do this like sitting down or standing up, doesn't matter, at a like a target that's far away. Can literally be anything, uh, like an object on the wall, outside, or anything like that. But square up perfectly to it, right? I want you to take your dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, left-handed, I don't think this even matters. But uh, just naturally, I want you to come up, right? You guys see, you see where my finger's floating to? Right now I'm looking at the camera, I'm adjusting it. But when I naturally came up, it's literally lined up with this eye, with my left eye, you know, right here. But take your fingernail and, and point it at something and just like what you should be seeing and don't go fucking cross-eyed like I just did, but literally just both eyes open, point it at something, okay? And then after you do this, right? So you, I want you to go like this like this, like, like close one eye. I don't know why my mouse moving with my eyes, but, but you get the point. So line up, close one eye at a time, see which one is lined up with whatever your target was. Okay. So once you figure that out and, and here's the weird part is I played baseball as a kid, you know, and I, I batted right-handed, you know, so, hypothetically, you know, I'm like this. So, it's like, I'm, I don't know if that's where I, I established it, but I'm seeing the pitch come in. I'm seeing the ball come in from mainly my left eye. And, and the interesting part is, like, I don't know if this is talked about in sports at all, but it's like, this is so fucking important because you need to be able to see whatever it is you're, like, if you're competing in, in quite literally anything like you need to see what is coming 
Like the that's all info at the end of the day. It doesn't matter what sport you're doing, but in Call of Duty FPS, I want to show you guys something. So I made I came prepared, okay? I came prepared. But for right now, so interesting article here. I want you to read this. So 65% of people have a dominant eye that is the same as their dominant hand. So that's 65% of all human beings screwed already. You're not going to, you're probably not going to go pro in Call of Duty. Okay. You know, uh, yeah, and then I already described that crap. 18% of people are cross dominant. And that's not even, that's, it's actually less than 18%. It's probably around like, you know, a little bit 11, 12, because you got to think about the people who are right handed, left eye dominant. Or, or no, that's me. Sorry. Left handed, right eye dominant, which wouldn't really help you much in Call of Duty. Because at the end of the day, or a lot of FPSs in general, you want to be left eyed, right? Because now I want you guys to look at this. Thank you, Shotzi. So I want you guys to look at this. I'll just, I'll, I'll go full screen. Okay. Ignore the, the bit rate, quality issues, all that crap. But the stuff on the left side of your screen is going to be a lot easier than on your right side of your screen. So what is key on the left side? Your mini map, the score, the time, the kill feed, quite literally. So like all the important info is pretty much on the left side. And the reloading stuff, I mean, who cares realistically? But this is what's interesting now. So the gun actually, like if I were to take a percent, like cut the screen, if I were to do this, right? And basically try to figure out like how much do you think the gun is actually taken up on the right side of your screen? Like it's almost like 30, 40% of the screen. And especially when you consider the fact that like, hey, you're not playing a jetpack game or you're not playing, you're not shooting upwards, right? So you're always going to be level, you know, pretty much the way the in, in terms of when it becomes important information, right? Or where you're going, going to be looking, I would say like this, okay? Literally this, this window, you're not going to be looking like look at above the like ridge line. You know, that's all that's outside the fuck. that's outside the map it doesn't even matter. So it's like, realistically, you're going to be around here. OK, there's even there's not even that much elevation in Call of Duty. So it's like you're always going to be centering somewhat at a at like, a you know, hip level, knee level, uh, chest level it doesn't it doesn't really matter. But that like, look at that. Okay, ignore Shotzi's webcam, but I want you guys to look at that, okay? Now I'm going to go on this side. Look at that. So, huge difference, right, on what you're able to see. So, the interesting thing is I don't know... If there's a fix for that, like say you're right-handed, right-eye dominant, Call of Duty is literally your religion. Um, I I don't want to tell you that you're absolutely screwed, but there's got to be a way to position your monitor to combat this. You know, CSGO, for example, you can switch your gun model from the left or from the right to the left. So, by the way, any CSGO players there who are right-eye dominant, right-handed, switch your gun to the left immediately. Um, right now in Call of Duty, you cannot change the HUD. You can't change any of that. You can't change where your gun model is. So, I think the, 
I've been thinking about this. I think if you position your monitor, whether it's left or right, I don't know which one would actually help you. Um, because at the end of the day, they're both sort of like sacrifices. You know, say like my monitor's off center, off centered a little bit right now. I wouldn't play like this. I'd play straight. But if you think like if I'm right eye dominant and I want to see more of the, like the bigger part of the, the more open part of your screen, maybe you shift it further to the right. So anyways, that's my little homework for you guys. A little experiment. I want you to, to try figure out what eye dominance you are and go from there. But just now, guys, you're you might be aware of a problem that you didn't even know existed. So without further ado, that was episode one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this got you guys thinking a little bit, okay? Because Call of Duty, granted, it's not a game of thinking. It's mainly a day-to-day -day game. But like everything else in this series, I want you guys to minimize all the BS and maximize all the potential. So be sure to subscribe. Episode two will come out whenever I feel like it, but probably tomorrow. But we'll see. Who knows? Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill.